Hello, thanks for watching. I'm Christian Maggio, the sports director for Jeff92. We're here for the first ever Jeff92 Sports and Bronco Athletics post-game media session. Joining us tonight, we got Jared Nolt from the defense, Coach Pat Shanley, and then Noah Ritchie from the offense. So uh, we'll be asking them some questions. Me and Mr. Leaf behind the camera will be asking some questions and starting our interview. And uh, now, Coach Shanley, you can have any uh, opening statements on the game from yeah. tonight? Yeah. Uh, you know, starting out, we had a rain delay and all of that. And uh, I remember two years ago, last time we had a rain delay, we came out really flat and uh, pretty lethargic. So I was really proud uh, to see our growth in that respect, coming out and uh, playing fast, playing physical, and, and with the emotion that we've become accustomed to the last couple of years. So, so really proud of our maturity and our growth in that respect. But overall, just you know, in, in a scrimmage like this, you don't want to show too much or do too much, and uh, you know, despite that, you know, the main thing we're looking for on tape and just live is, is effort and uh, blocking the whistle and getting the football. And we definitely saw that tonight from the Broncos. All right. So, uh, thanks, Coach. At this time, we'll. Uh, ask some questions for Jared and Noah and Coach, and so we can go ahead and start that. All right, Coach, uh, Paul Leaf, Assistant AD here at Lafayette Jeff. First question is, uh, where's the positive things that you saw from the scrimmage tonight? Um, I thought we did a really good job uh, blocking in terms of that. Uh, our young quarterback made some good throws, and we had some guys make some plays on the perimeter for him. And, and I thought we did a great job sustaining blocks up front and uh, really giving us some seams, seams at the point of attack offensively. So quite honestly, um, in the middle of each drive or in between drives when the defense, defense was out there, I, I didn't get a chance to see much of them. But uh, everything I heard from Coach Cronk, our defense coordinator, and the rest of the staff was really positive uh, in terms of the effort, the attitudes, and, and, uh, and what they saw out there. We definitely had some things to fix, and we'll get back in here and get to work tomorrow uh, on fixing those, those things. Uh, also, Coach, um, what was your impression of first-year quarterback Maximus Grimes this evening? Yeah, I thought he was really composed. His, his communication uh, when he was coming off in between drives was really outstanding. Uh, I mean, really matured beyond his years. And he spent a lot of time throughout the offseason studying film and, and working hard and putting a lot of time in with his receivers uh, that, that maybe people don't see and, and kind of goes unnoticed that, that uh, really uh, – you know, I guess the success that we had tonight offensively didn't really surprise me because, uh, as I told him in the pregame, we, we go as you go, and, and uh, he's really taken that on his shoulders, and, and uh, I, I was really pleasantly, I, mean, I guess, pleased with how he played and how composed he was throughout. Perfect. And then, Coach, um, you know, we just got done with the off season, um, and, you know, the off season grind. So, what what is your uh, you think your team's mentality is after you know a long, uh, brutal um, off season schedule? Well, hey, first of all, you know, our, our all-season attendance this season is the best it's ever been uh, in my four years here. And, and that starts with these seniors and, and these two guys behind and beside me. Both of these guys, 100% uh, attendance throughout the all-season. That's 70-plus workouts. And if they did miss one, they made it up. So, uh, to me, that, that's, um, you know, getting back to your original question, I think that's our seniors' identity. That, that, that's who they are. And uh, it's, it's a class that's really – uh, blue collar class and, and takes pride in how they work and, and takes pride in the product they're putting out there every Friday night. They're just a bunch of great kids that bust their butt and do things right. This one's for Jared. Jared, you're a returning uh, defensive player. What are the strengths of the defense going to be this year? I think the biggest strength that we have right now is our family bond. And when we're on the field, things start like going south. We come together, we don't point fingers, we don't yell. We rise up as a team and face the adversity together. And then uh, another help is that off in the off season, getting stronger, faster from Coach OGD, uh, Greg Dunkel. He helped a lot with us to get better. And and then uh, Noah, same question. Talk about game day dominance. Can you you know just talk about how those workouts with Greg Dunkel has you know improved the offensive and defense together? Well, first of all, I don't think it's just a workout. It's a testament to us to show our bond, how hard we're willing to fight, and if how bad we really want. So I'd say at the start of the summer, we didn't, like, we had a bond, but it wasn't as tight in as it is now. And when you see your brothers going through it and all, you, you're right there with them. And you let them know that you're uh, right there with them, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. And one, one thing I'll add, too, is, you know, we're very fortunate to, uh, to have, uh, you know, a strength coach during the day in Wade Russell, uh, who, who was a strength coach under Bill Lynch at Ball State. So, so we're very blessed in that respect too. And he really gets it done and brings a, 
a great program for these guys during the school day. Um, so we're really getting stronger and, and, and thicker during the school day. And, and Coach Dunkel does a great job really taking to the next level beyond that and, and getting them faster and, and mentally tougher as well. So, so we're very, very fortunate in that respect. All right, so this one's both for Jared and Noah. Uh, what, are, what are both of your impressions in the new locker room facilities that they've just opened? I think the new locker rooms we've got is long time overdue. That sounds kind of selfish, but it's a really nice facility. It really, I think, brought the team together even more because it's nice hardware, nice bathrooms. We have a surround sound, which is nice, to help pump up the team before games. Took all my ideas, but yeah, I think it's more like a family type of locker room. We can all see each other, be right next to our brothers, and we're all located within the central positions. So you're right next to the O line, or you're right next to the D line, and basically you just get to be with your brothers every day when you come to that locker room. And that's a good feeling. Perfect. All right, and then for the players again, uh, from your guys' perspective, what are the team goals for this season? Well, first we want to we want to defend the NCC title. We won that last year with an undefeated regular season. And secondly, we want to win the county. We want to beat every team that's on our schedule that's within the county. So West Lafayette, Harrison, and McCutcheon. And then after that, we plan on moving to the second round of sectionals. Hopefully, winning a championship, and then more after that for the future, just winning in banks, keep winning in banks until we're at the Lucas Oil Stadium. Perfect. And then uh, last uh, question for Coach this evening. Uh, Coach, what is the focus um, going into the we a big game against Westside next week? You know, it, it's, it's going to be a big time atmosphere. And uh, that's what high school football should be about. So we're going to enjoy the moment. Um, we're we're going we're to stop and, and, and look around and, and just bring it all in. And, you know, it, it's going to be memories that these guys remember for the rest of their life. In that atmosphere, they're going to talk about this for the rest of their life. Uh, so we're going to enjoy it, and uh, you know I can guarantee you we're going to play hard, we're going to show up, and we're going to do what we do. And uh, we're going to let the cards fall as they may. Westside's a great team. Coach Fry does a great job, and obviously they have some, some really talented players. They're one of the best teams in the state regardless of class. So, so we're really excited for that matchup. We're really looking forward to it. I know these guys are going to help lead us in the, uh, on the other side of the river, and we're going to give them everything we got. All right, thanks for uh, – that will be the last question. Thanks for all of you for coming in and, and fielding questions. and. Great experiment tonight, and good luck next week against Westside. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Go Broncos. Yeah.